with that. I'm sure there are Google Slide Pros out there. I am not a pro, but I know what I'm doing a little bit. So I want to show you guys because Google Slides have been such a jam for me this year. As I have mentioned in previous videos before, they have really been my jam. And now that I have figured out how to do certain things, it's making it even more faster for me to get my plans done for the week. And so I just want to share that with you. So today is for teachers to um, get their mind right, get things back in order and organized and prepared. Um, Cause let's just say y'all, uh, this has been a year of whoa. So, I really, really appreciate these days, our meetings. We just do what we wanna do as far as prepping our classrooms, meeting with our teams, you know, and all that good jazz. So I'm very, very happy about these days. I think they should be implemented for all teachers all over the world because I don't think people truly understand how much work goes into whew, being a teacher. It's not babysitting. It's not just count one, two, three, like from early childhood on. It is rigor and it is a lot. So I'm very excited about today. So I'm going to be planning that. I'm going to pick up some Starbucks for myself and a couple of my peeps. And then I'm going to get to work and I'm going to show you guys how I do my whole um, Google Slides jam. A little tired today, a little sleepy, but it's going to be good because there won't be any kids there. So it'll be nice to just do what I need to do because it, like I said, it's been, it's been a year, y'all. It's been a year. But when I think about it, like this is, like yesterday was day 62 and I just can't believe from the first day of school to now that, wow, <laughs> We're still here, we're still here, we're still at it, we're still jamming, and and we just, we kept it moving, we kept going. I mean, this shirt today is just perfect. Keep going. Like, I know there are people out there that are struggling, hurting, just keep going. Just don't, I can get emotional about it because I can just think about how I felt. But we have to keep going, you guys, we have to keep going. And y'all know I am all about positivity and being upbeat as much as I can. But there are days where you just want to just throw in the towel and just say, all right, I'm done. But, you know, I, we have to keep going. We have to keep going. We have to. And I'm just... I'm just thankful that I've come this far because I think about the first week of school and how hard it was and how much I cried, you know, that first day and many after. But I kept going, I kept going, and you keep going too. If you by any chance are interested in this shirt that Miss May has on today, I know you guys are always asking me, Miss May, where are you getting your shirts from? Um, this shirt is from my brother's clothing line. 8035. I'm going to put his information right here. You can shop. He is all about, we're, we're pretty much alike in the sense of like positivity. And he is very like, he's a very deep, passionate thinker about life. And he has quotes, things that you would think of that you wouldn't even think of, or you do think of, but it doesn't come out. I don't know if that makes sense, but he has so many great, he has he has long sleeves, short sleeves, hooded sweatshirts, he has masks. Um, you can get a keep going mask with your keep going shirt. I mean, he has fanny packs, anything. I'm gonna put a link in the description box as well. You can follow him on Instagram. I'll put his stuff right here too. And speaking of Instagram, y'all, and then I'm gonna leave and go to school and show y'all. But speaking of Instagram, Miss May has returned back to Instagram. I have been going through, I don't know, a battle with um, social media and my purpose for social media. I don't want to be on social media just to be nosy and gossip and 
scroll for hours in a day and just oh not wasting time i just my purpose on social media is to really promote honestly my my brand one fat teacher promote my teachers pay teacher store you know sh promote positivity you know give you guys advice give you guys some tips and then show a little bit little snippets of my life so i am back on instagram i've also um have revamped my website well it's no longer a blogger blog it's a wordpress website and i absolutely love it i had a girl named cassie design it for me and she was amazing i'll put her information in the link below as well um but everything is just it's coming along and i just i just feel different and i feel better so I'll put my Instagram down below, follow me. I'll put my brother's Instagram down below, follow him, he's positive. Um, so you'll get double dosage of the May Positivity. And um, I'll also put my website below as well so that you can go check it out. So I'm so excited. Okay, love, so I am headed to work and I'm going to um, catch you on the flip side. Mwah. Okay guys, so I wanted to just say before I show you how I maneuver Google Slides and put my lessons in, um, you, my biggest suggestion would be to divide and conquer when it comes to planning lessons for all content areas because there is so much, there's just so much that it can be so overwhelming. And if you're on a big team especially, divide and conquer there is a team of we're a team of eight now and so we work smarter not harder we divide and conquer and then we come together as a team and just kind of discuss this that and the other for what's expected for that next week or you know upcoming events so like the people my peeps that i plan with we plan the whole reading content from the big book to the song to the poem to the reading mini lesson so and though and we do the word study as well and then amongst us we divide and conquer with that so if you can divide and conquer and then come back together and talk um it's truly truly a gem so i just wanted to share that with, with you before I start driving because I'm at the light now, but divide and conquer because it's it saves so much time. All right, guys. Okay, guys, and I wanted to show you how I organize my bins for the week. Monday through Friday, I have everything in here that I need. Well, starting to need, um, but I keep everything in here that I need Monday through Friday. Um. It just keeps me very, very organized. So um, after I'm done with my slides, I always go back and put everything in here that I missed or need to add into there. So just another um, tip for you. I've seen this around everywhere, people doing Monday through Friday bins or whatever works for them drawers. So just a thought and these labels are in my TPT store as well. Okay school google drive and so right here this is my week 13 so that was for this week so to start a new week for next week what i have to do is i have to i'll double click on here and i'm not gonna go through and delete everything now what you need to do is you have to make a copy because if you delete everything, then it's not gonna be saved into your week 13. We, I save my lesson plans by the week. So you have to make sure that you are making a copy first. So I go here over here to file and I go down here to make a copy. And I wanna make a copy of the whole entire presentation. And so I'm gonna call it week 14 and that's December um, 14th. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then I'm gonna put 2020. And then here where it says folder, I'm gonna put this in a folder. So I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna click on this back arrow. It's gonna take me to all of my lesson plan folders. So this is from the first week of school. And I just keep scrolling down until I get to 14. 
I click for the arrow on 14 and then I hit select and then it says here week 14 Miss May's lesson plan so I click OK and it's going to save it and then so now I can do all my erasing and re-adding things and whatnot so here I have um, the date so all I have to do is change this to the 14th because this is week 14 that we're starting on down here um, I have morning tubs with a buddy or I'm finished now what board this one I'm going to do um, morning bags at your seat so they know what that means when they get their morning bag um, but all of this stuff here this is like part of the background of the slide so all this this doesn't change so that's why I don't go through rechanging this that and other because this stays the same all I have to do is just change the date and then what I want them to do and what I love about this is I could be in a meeting or just somewhere and I'm not in the room and it's like oh I want them to do this instead of this or I couldn't find something that I wanted them to do then I can just change this from my phone or if I have my Mac with me but my work laptop is in the classroom I can change it from my Mac so that's what I do love about the Google Slides so that's my first slide for Monday then I go to Tuesday this stays the same nothing changes here um, so that's good to go now here this is our good morning song now I'm gonna show you I'm gonna take this out but I'm going to show you how to insert this is basically what I wanted to do guys is just kind of show you how to insert things and place things in certain spots so I'm gonna delete this right now and so what I do is I go to insert and you can insert an image a text box audio or video I want to insert a video and so what I do I go to YouTube and I type in good oops I type in good morning song and then what happens okay boom so these are all the different good morning songs you can choose from that this one we start at the beginning of the year I told you how I love um, the learning stations good morning song we started the first few months of school with this one so now just here recently the last couple of weeks we've been doing this one and so you highlight it and do you notice how you have the blue rectangle purplish around there and then you click select and it puts it in there and you just kind of reposition it how you want how you want it and where you want it to um, be and so then your song is there now I would push play but I don't want to get copyrighted for this so but you just you press play and the music plays okay um and you're good to go so then um we go to the good morning so i have all of my first c's on here and i greet them that stays the same then we go to sight words now for a while there i've been doing sight words and we've been kind of changing up things and we've been doing our spalding so that's what we've been working on here now i want to show you um to save you time when I so this is Monday and let's just say for instance um, I'm just going to delete all of these and I want to show you so let's just pretend like I um, I'm gonna do command Z oops sorry command Z okay so let's just say um, you know what I should have did I'm gonna do this guys I just want to show you what you can do um, you you can highlight each of these and do a right click copy and then you can go to your next days and paste them so let's just pretend I don't have these for um, Tuesday so I go to Tuesday so here's Tuesday and after good morning we greet each other here's sight words right underneath sight words here you put right click and you paste so then that way you don't have to retype every single day the sight words or sounds or whatever you want to do during that time so that's um, I, I love that feature it saves me so much time um, but anyway I just wanted to share that with you guys so um, we're gonna continue on with um, 
like I'll go in I just want to show you guys that but you know I'll do this later on but then we have number of the day this slide stays the same because um, this is what we do all the time for number of the day then we have gold noodle and we have our brain break and this just says get your wiggles out but when you when you when I click on it so I I put I don't have a link on here okay so I have the paper here so I'm gonna show you guys how to put a link in so you go to your own personal gold noodle um, and you put your own link in there and oh I did a clear I cleared a oh, login um, you want to make sure that this is highlighted so if I go out here it's not highlighted the box isn't highlighted but if I click on it it is then you want to go to this little link here thing where it says insert link you click on it and then you just paste and then you hit apply and then that's going to be right there so every time that you click on it it's just going to automatically take your class to y'all's go noodle so simple right I love it um, what else did I want to show you guys? Um, oh, okay, so again, here I have this particular um, video that plays when the kids are doing independent reading or re and read with a buddy. I have this playing in the background and it's just um, the Starbucks coffee um, and snow is falling down. It's very, very pretty, but like I said, I don't want to get copyrighted on my page, so I'm not going to share show that, but I will share with you. I just, just type, type in Starbucks coffee scenes and oodles will pop up. And actually, I'll put this one in the description box for you guys um, if you want this particular one. But I just really wanted to show you how to insert videos. You go to um, insert video. Um, and then basically, what I do for lesson plans my team and I, we have a shared drive. So I'm gonna go to that drive. So for example, let's see. Um, I'm gonna go to our drive, which would, okay, shared with me. And then I'm, I'm gonna go to the 20, 21 firsties. And these are our lessons. And so how my team does it, this is the second nine weeks we're in. We do our lesson plans where, you know, we split up and we divide and conquer. And so we're gonna be on week 14 when we go back, okay? So these are all the writing and handwriting mini lessons. These are all the math, this is all the reading, and the, this is our word sort for the week. So I plan reading with my peeps. So basically, I click on here, and what we do is like reading, okay, so reading mini lesson. We have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, y'all, simple. So let's just say for Monday. So here's Monday's plans. So I just highlight it and you want to, I don't know if somebody has an easier way to actually, um, come in, see, um, so I'm highlighting Sorry about, oops. Okay, so I highlight it, copy. I go into that week 14 and I go to reading. So this was last week, so I'm going to delete this and then I'm going to paste this. And then I paste it, arrange it. And this is perfect for me too because when I'm at home and I, maybe I don't wanna get out a notebook or a lesson plan book or whatever, and I just have this to refer to. I make the font smaller. You can center it. And um, all that good jazz. I take this Monday off because I don't need that part. Um, and then there you go. Oops. There you go. And so then I have, you know, and I play with some more just so it fits. It's eye appealing to me. So when I'm reading it, any links that I need, you know, they're right there click them it takes me to my link that's why I really really like this I'm really a fan of Symbaloo too but this is my jam too like because everything is here and I do that for the whole week so when I go back into the shared reading I do 
Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I do Monday through Friday, all of reading. I get all of reading done so I don't have to go back to that folder. I don't go clicking back and forth. Okay, now I got to put in writing. Oh, now I got to put in. I just do the whole week of whatever content area that I'm planning. So Monday through Friday, reading, I get that all done first and then I move on to writing. So that makes things go faster too when you're putting in these lesson plans. So um, I just kind of wanted to share with you guys because many of you always ask me, Miss May, how do you plan your lessons? How do you do this? That's how we do it, y'all. So I just wanted to share that with you. I hope that was a little bit helpful. Um, everything else I feel like I've explained in different videos before. Um, like here is, um, you know, our read aloud time and I click on here. This one is tumble books. You know, the next week it could be, or the next day it could be storyline online. But I've discussed that in previous videos, so I don't, I won't, I won't repeat myself with that. But I just wanted to share that with you guys and let you know that it's been like when the whole week is planned and everything is done. It's just like, whoosah, it just feels so good. So, so I just wanted to share that with y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed took some tips from this if you have any ideas yourself with google slides any tricks please put them in the in the comment section below because the more we share the better it becomes um but anyway as always um let me actually let me stop this real quick guys There we go. All right, guys. So I have enjoyed um, giving you a little help. Hope you liked it. Don't forget. Keep going. Don't give up. Tomorrow's a new day. All right, guys. See you in the next video. Bye.